The goal of this video is to invent a system that will remember which order your party was in before you switch to something like a flashback where you only have one member or you switch to an alternate party. So this should be easier than it sounds. Uh, I have it kind of uh, planned a little bit in my head, but let's just choose a, a map we have here. Actually, let's choose a sample map, a new sample map. Okay, let's check the database and see what characters we start with. We're starting with Reed, Priscilla, Gale, and Michelle. So what we want to do is create an NPC. And this NPC is going to remove all of the party members. It was Michelle, right? Am I remembering that correctly? Yeah, Reed, Priscilla, Gale, and Michelle. And then it's going to add Rosa. And then it's going to turn self switch A on. I just want to show how this currently works. Okay. And this is essentially going to do the exact same thing, but in the opposite. Add these four back to your party and it's going to remove Rosa. I want to show you what happens if you change the party order and then try to do a scene like or try to do something like this right uh just so that we know we're in like a i don't know a flashback or something let's tint screen and we'll just do sepia and then over here we'll tint it back to normal oh i did not choose the correct starting place let's bring up the menu and let's move reed to the back we'll move gale to the front and we'll switch priscilla and michelle so it goes Gail, Michelle, Priscilla, Reed. So G M P R. Okay, just remember that. Now, when we go to do this, see, now we're in a flashback. Oh, I forgot to put the graphic here. Okay, and now we only have Rosa in the party. And when we go to add these characters back, you can see they're in the order in which we added them in the event. Okay, so the order that the player put them in is gone. And it's just a nice quality of life thing to have to be able to put them back in the order that the player had them in, right? Okay, so let's go to common events. Restore party. And we are going to control variables. Actually, we're gonna do a conditional branch and we're gonna to go to control variables. We're gonna create current member ID. If current member ID equals one, then we want to add read. Okay, and we're gonna do this four times, equals two, then add Priscilla, three, then add Gail, and four, we add Michelle. Okay, so in here, we're gonna get rid of removing, okay, actually we don't have to get rid of any of that. So let's create a uh, new thing up here, and what we wanna do is in variables, member one ID, and then we want to just ha copy that a few more times. Member two ID, member three ID, and member four ID. And these are going to store the actor IDs of the members that are in that spot. Okay, so we're going to set member one ID to party member one actor ID. We're going to do this for each one. Okay, so member two to actor two, member three, to actor three and member four to actor four. Okay. So now we've got this set up. So it's going to store who we currently have in, in the order that we have them in these IDs. And when you go to add them back in, let's get rid of these. Okay. We want to do something here. We want to do variable current member ID, set it to member one. Okay, and then we want to run our common event, restore party. And what this is going to do is it's going to set the, I think it adds from the top down. So it's going to set the first person that it adds to whatever the member one ID was. So if it was the, the actor that had the like actor three ID, right? So these are your actor IDs here. If it was the actor, though, if the person in the member one position had the actor three ID, then it will re-add that actor, okay? So let's go back into our event here. 
So we're going to set current member ID to member one ID, restore party. And then we're going to do this four times for each ID. So it equals member two ID equals member three ID and equals member four ID. And the reason that we set up that common event is so that we don't have to include all of that here and keep doing the same conditional branch over and over again, or the same set of conditional branches. We just call this common event and it runs through here and chooses the correct member. This should be good to go. I believe I could be wrong. Uh, let's remove Rosa at the, oh, we messed up here. Current member ID. Okay. Well, I actually don't think it matters where we put remove Rosa because it's still going to add play these players in a certain order. So let's play test this. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Also, it did not restore one of our party members. So let's see why that is. Uh, even though that was a whole mess that we just made happen. It, it's not, I don't think it's because we had Rosa there. Let's remove Rosa or have a uh, remove Rosa set to the top and then we'll, we'll try again. Okay, so let's rearrange our characters here. We'll put Michelle at the front. Switch Gale and Priscilla, so MGPR. There we go. Okay, I gotta fix that. MPR. So it's missing Gale. It's missing member two for some reason. Oh, there we go. That's why. Because we have a slight typo in there. Okay, let's go ahead and fix this uh, picture. All right. This should be good to go. Start a new game. Rearrange our characters. So let's put Gale in the front, Michelle in the second place, and Reed in last place. G M P R. Remember that. Okay, G M P R. Now this is the order that the player has them in, and this is the benefit of this system or this series of events is so you re-add them in the order the player had them in. G M P R. So let's go here. Now you can see that we have Rosa. Okay, let's leave. Let's talk to the go here, talk here, whatever. Ah! Go to our menu. And we have G M P R. And there you go. That's it. That's it's it's as simple as that. Um, very, very easy to do. Just a nice little quality of life thing for your, you know, to have for your players so that they don't have to spend time like reorganizing their party every time they get back from a flashback or from an alternate party, anything like that. This also works with two parties. You know, you would just have to have this system happen on both pages. Future creative mechanics. So as far as creative mechanic, I don't have a lot of ideas. If you all have ideas, definitely let me know in the comments. I want to start a beginner series on eventing. I feel like with this whole situation with Unity going on that we will probably get an influx of new users for RPG Maker. And I think a, a beginner series guide for a, the event page and event commands would be really good. I'm actually going through like short form tutorials of all of the event commands in YouTube shorts on my YouTube channel. But I think a long form video, just maybe the first episode would be just a crash course on what this page is, what events are, like what an event would be like an NPC, a chest, things like that. And then we'll spend, you know, the following episodes going through how to make an NPC, how to make a quest, how to make a chest, how to, I don't know, make a movable item, like different things like that. So, uh, Give me some feedback on what you want to see out of something like that. I like recording in this format. It's easier for me to record. If, if I if I try to do like a really formal format, I have to like retake and retake and retake and it takes a lot of extra time and I, I'm not, I don't really like doing that. So uh, doing this on stream the way that we do now where I can just kind of have a casual conversation. Yeah, we mess things up here and there, but I think the process is really important. I've talked about this before, but the process showing people the process and showing people your mistakes and stuff. I think that's really, really important. Thank you all for tuning in and uh, leave me your feedback down below. I very much appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.